Well, welcome to my new video. In this video I'm just going to show you how to modify one of these simple transmitters you can get off eBay. Now, this is a friend's one, I've done a lot of these and he wants a bit more range. Believe it or not the range on this when it comes out of the box is no more than 10 feet. Designed to be used in cars or close to radios but with a simple mod we can get this to cover the old house, the garden three or four hundred feet down the road as well. So let's see what it's like out of the box. Just plug that into the, um, the old phone that I use. That's the sound I put now. So we've got it on 103.4. Oh. Put the volume up a bit. There we go. So basically, the audio input is the mini antenna. The problem with these, to keep them within European and UK regulations, the, um, the RF output on the chip is attenuated. So basically, we've just got to remove the attenuator. There we are. It's changing now. Can't play any music you're familiar with. For, um, YouTube rules, regulations. Alright, how far can we go? It's ridiculous, isn't it? Just pull the antenna out. Wow, it's crazy. Hello. Yeah. Not nice and just doesn't feel away. Oh, 10 foot away. I never even got a red light on there, look. Oh wow. I could almost touch it. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is just do a simple mod. And we'll show you how to improve the output amazingly. Much, much more range. Alright, let's open it up. Oh, this is the IC from the data sheet. As you can see here, it's pin 12. And this is the um, attenuator. This is how it is out of the box. And this is how it will be when we're finished doing this hack. Alright, let's get on with it. Okay, let's undo it. These are um, quite easy to undo, these are. I'm going to do these. Simple as that. Alright, there's our chip there. There's the FM chip. There we go. That's the chip. There's your output there. I'll zoom in in a minute, so I'm going to remove this attenuator. I'll zoom in a bit more so you can see a bit more clearly. Anyway, well, that's the um, that's attenuator. Just that. Then I'll flip out. That's slightly better close up. Here's our right put pin. Pin 12. Goes through the capacitator, through the attenuator, and up through here, through the inductor. And I put through this red lead that goes through this very short audio input lead. So basically we can keep the cap and um, basically we'll remove these two resistors and we'll feed our wire antenna and into this cap here through the side of the transmitter and that will improve the range massively. Right then I'll turn my soldering ones on. I could just clip this off actually 
Not necessarily need the soldering iron, I could actually break these away. Oh, there's one. And there's others. Alright. Easiest way to do it. What I'll do, I'll remove these two. What I'll do, I'll just get some wire now. And we'll wire on the antenna there. Alright, what we need to do now is solder this wire just after the capacitator here. And what we'll do, this output here won't be used at all then, will it? Because you've got your cap here, output coming out here. And that's it then, back to the um, antenna. Now I found a 120 centimetre antenna works best. And believe me, I tried all sorts of lengths to get the best range, and by far, I've got the most success with 125. 120, 125 mil. Now it's going to be right tricky this is because I've got a light on. I've got this right up. So it's going to be a bit tricky to solder this in. Alright. There we go. Simple as that. Alright. So you can see now, not soldered in the right place. What I'll do now, quickly, is just use my heat gun to secure that in place so it doesn't move at all. in place now. So I'll leave that to dry. Okay, next thing is to drill an hole in the side. Our antenna. Should be about out, I hope. See our wire there now, it's nice and secure. Yeah, so what we've just got to do now is feed the wire through the hole we've just made. You can, also, you can put more, more glue on this side if you want, but to be honest, you shouldn't pull the antenna too much anyway, so it should be nice and secure there. Alright, that's it now, the wire through the side. Well done. Right, we'll test it next. No, still works. There's a wire now coming outside. Right, we'll test it next. Okay, should we test it? Plug the input in. Here we go, same radio. I know it's boring music, but it's gonna do. But we got to about here before, didn't we? Just so you know, he's got transmitter. Oh, stop it. There you go. Alright. Well, turn around a bit first. 
crackers. Stop for a sec now. Move over into the ice now. Yeah. Not a problem. Much, much further range. Now with my car stereo, the FM radios and car stereo is usually a lot more sensitive than normal radios. I've got about five or six hundred foot. So there's a bit more improvement with the antenna, I'll get a bit further than that. Not bad is it? Quick modification. I mean when they're out of the box they're useless. And I've, I've had the same success with the older type Belkin, I think that's version 2. And even cheap ones off eBay, cheap Chinese ones. Now this one, this one's just as far, the range is just as good. And believe it or not, this is £1.99 on eBay. Astonishing. So the simple mod, you can make a whole life transmitter, use it in your garden. Is it down the road? I'm going to have two AI batteries, and three volts. It's amazing what um, transmission range you can get with such low power. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you all soon.